Videos on the iPhone 16, 16 Pro, and Pro Max and Plus are starting to die down. We've heard so many different things from this phone sucks, it's been the same phone for the last 15 years, to the colors on the 16 regulars are beautiful, the Pros like colors too, and then this phone is great, the bezels are great, the screen size is great, blah, blah, blah. Through all of this, battery is one of the biggest things that people talk about every year something that Apple just kind of glazed over this year for reasons. And battery is such a hard thing to talk about sometimes because there are so many different factors that play into the battery being good or not. Like for me, I have background app refresh turned off. I have location turned to, you know, while I'm using said app. I have my auto brightness on. I do my best to be in Wi-Fi as much as I can. All of this kind of saves battery. Some people just use their phone rod. They don't have any battery saving tips and tricks on there. And if you want a video on that, let me know in the comments. There are so many also on YouTube. So how can you really accurately test it? Well, you kind of can't, it's kind of hard. What we can do is go from word of mouth and from what we've seen the last previous few years. The iPhone 11, the Pro Max specifically, was the best battery on an iPhone at the time, of course. And still to this day, people talk about it, how it was a really good battery for that time. It was a really good iPhone. I'm sure if you bought an iPhone 11 Pro Max brand new now, it would still be a good battery for most people. The iPhone 12 batteries were okay and they weren't great. They weren't, you know, top of the line, the best battery in any phone ever. But then the 13 Pro Max battery was awesome. Again, best battery in an iPhone for the time. 13 Pro Max was an awesome phone. One of the best iPhones Apple has ever released, honestly. And that Sierra blue color was best color Apple has ever done. Then you go to the 14s and the 14 regular battery was meh. The 14 Plus was the best battery on an iPhone. And then the 14 Pro that I had, that battery was crap. It was the worst battery ever. I hated it so much. Fast forward a year, 15 Pro Max battery was pretty good. It got me through most of a day, but I would also charge it anytime I could. Issue with the 15 Pro Max is that the battery percentage, the battery health percentage would die over time a lot faster than a lot of people had seen in the past. So now how are the 16s? How is the 16 Pro Pro Max? regulars. Honestly, can't tell you anything about the regulars. Never used them. Beautiful phones. Much better looking than the pros, in my opinion. And I have a video on this regular 16 Pro. But I've been using the 16 Pro Max for a couple weeks now. So let me tell you about it. I work from home. I'm sitting at my desk for, you know, hours a day. I, I do, you know, normal call center stuff. I'll use my phone for work sometimes to take notes, to get into certain apps that need a two-factor two authentication that my phone is a second factor, things like that. If I have downtime, I'll be you know reading a manga on my phone. I will be watching a show on my phone while I'm working out sometimes. I play Pokemon Go not while I'm working at all. And you know, all these things, all of that I am in Wi-Fi for. Sometimes I will go out on a walk and I will be playing Pokemon Go on my phone. So that means I won't be on Wi-Fi. I'll be on cellular data playing Pokemon Go. That uses more battery. And of course, being out in the hot sun uses, kind of drains the battery a little bit more too. Bright screen, being outside. A lot of the time, again, like I said, I'm in Wi-Fi, I'm at home. I'll have music playing in the background. I'll have a YouTube video playing in the background while the screen is off. Or I'll just have the screen off and notifications will brighten the screen when they come in as they come in every so often. Yesterday, for example, my screen time averaged about eight hours of screen on time and six and a half hours or so of screen idle time. Idle time is just screen is off, speakers are playing, it's still receiving videos, it's still receiving notifications, things like that, but the screen is off, you're not you know, actively using it. Screen on time, the screen's on, you're using it, you're watching something, all that stuff. At the end of the day, I was at 20%. That's not bad, right? That's not really, that's not bad at all. I start using the phone, I'm working at a 6 a.m. off around four, you know, I'm doing stuff, you know, I've been using the phone off and on, like I said, and by the time I'm off work, I'm at 30%. And if I'm gonna go out in the afternoon, I have to charge my phone. That's the thing I don't want to do. I don't wanna charge my phone, except at night when I go to bed when I'm not using it. I don't wanna charge my phone while I'm at my desk, and I don't wanna charge my phone in my car, even though I have a car charger. The reason being, the 15 Pro Max die, the percentage died so fast, I want to protect the percentage on my 16 Pro Max. Unfortunately, that should not be a thing. You should be able to use the phone as it's intended to be used and not scared to do certain things with it. 
Apple should have thought about that. And maybe next year the battery is going to be the best battery on an iPhone again. Let's really hope so. So the battery on this phone is yes and no for me. But again, it all depends on how you use the phone. Are you going to be in Wi-Fi most of the time? Are you always using cellular data, whether it's 5G or LTE? Because 5G uses more battery than LTE. Are you a brightness fiend and you have your brightness all the way up all the time? Do you use eye tracking for the accessibility features? Because that, that'll kill your battery. Are you always using Bluetooth? Are you always using location things? Something like actively using your location, like maps, are you playing games? All of these factors are going to affect the battery on your phone. So how does my battery life, my day in the battery idea, what I just said, work for you? About eight hours screen on, six hours screen idle, 20% at the end of that. That's not terrible. I wish there, I wish there was more, I expected more. From the hype I've seen other people say, that's the more I expected, but maybe that's a time, a thing for next year. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake, the shot of my phone.